This video goes with the article in IKSF Mag issue 92. The beach start. Come on, admit it. It's something we all want to do. Casually stroll up to the water's edge, drop your board, hop on and sail off with a completely dry derriere. The beach start works best in anything under knee deep water. Suffice to say there are potential consequences, so use your common sense. Give yourself space and find a suitable location to practice. Kite control is key. You will have only one hand on the bar for some of the beach start and you will be standing on one leg for the rest. You need your kite to work with you. You want tension in the line so that the kite behaves and supports you. You have to control this tension so that you're not pulled about. Having your hands centered will help with this and prevent any unwanted surprises. Stand with the wind in your back, holding your board with your front hand. Check. Kite should be at 12 or slightly in front of you. Check. Drop the board so that it's angled upwind with the front strap near your front leg. Check. Now place your front foot in the strap. Lift your toes to keep the board on and close to you. At this stage, it can be a bit of a balancing act. So get both hands on the bar for more control and use your kite for support. You might have to hop to keep balance, but if you get out of shape, best bet is to start again. The idea is not to hang around in this position for too long. Before we carry on, let's think about what your kite should be up to. The trick is not to initiate your beach start with the kite at 12 o'clock, but rather start with it slightly behind 12. Once positioned, the way you steer your kite is just as important. The kite should not dive down, rather turn high in the window. This requires positive steering to get the kite turning quickly and then easing off. This process will give you lift, support and the time required to slide your foot into the strap without sinking the nose. Let's do it! Move the kite back gently so that it doesn't pull you off balance. Watch your kite. You can move it all the way to 11 or 1 o'clock. How far depends on power. The less you have, the further you need to move it. Steer the kite positively. As soon as you feel a bit of lift from the kite, level the bar. Sit in your harness and watch your back foot in. Once you start moving the kite, only one thing matters. Eyes on the prize, focus on the strap, that's your target. Brilliant, it's in! You may need more pull to get moving. As the kite is high, there's plenty of space to dive if needed. One final thought. For your first attempts, it's preferable to be too gentle rather than too aggressive with the kite. Then, if your bum gets wet, you can be more positive steering the kite forwards.